what's going on guys it's omni arc and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be going over all of the new easter events that just came out in infinity kingdom First of all, happy Easter to everybody who celebrates or recognizes this holiday. If you take a look here in Infinity Kingdom in the top right corner, you're going to see a little pink egg with a cute little bow on it. You click on that and you're going to see a ton of events here, a ton of events, really great rewards here for this, uh, for this holiday event. It's really, really nice. Let's go over all of them so we can understand them together. And remember, I'm learning with you guys. So I'm going to give you guys my best understanding of everything for this event. Now, real quick, before we jump in, make sure you subscribe to the channel about 75% of you guys are not subscribed if you want to see more infinity kingdom content click the button there's also a link down below to try infinity kingdom for your pc or your mac it's actually absolutely free it's a program called blue stacks it's my favorite way to play these mobile games and it lets you play infinity kingdom on a bigger screen and the game just looks absolutely beautiful so playing it on a bigger screen is a nice advantage like i said it's a link down below give it a try it's free if you don't like it you can uninstall it you can come back and yell at me but of course it does support the channel it does help me out a ton okay the Easter events here in Infinity Kingdom. This first event is actually really straightforward. You log in, you get free stuff. Everybody loves free stuff. It's called the the Resplendent Holiday. Uh, so each day for the next five days, if you log in, you get something good, which is great. The first day you log in, you get the Frig Souvenir Coins, which is awesome. You get gems on the next day. On the third day, you're going to get a resource pick one chest. Really good stuff here. The fourth day, you're going to get an eight hour protection barrier. And on the fifth day, you get three Philosopher's Stones. Th so three advanced summons i recommend saving these until you hit nine so you can get that 10 percent off the next part of the event is what seems to be the most confusing for most people it's called wondrous celebration okay this also goes for for six days at the time of recording this and essentially what these are are little missions that you can actually send your immortals out on in order to come back with rewards now these missions happen automatically you don't have to do anything in order to complete these missions the only thing you have to do is actually own immortals that meet these conditions so for example this one's called for the harvest this is an eight hour mission now keep in mind i don't know if these are actually called missions I, I that's just what i'm calling them i don't see what they're called here so i'm just going to call them missions okay this is a six star mission that takes eight hours to complete it will happen automatically in order to send out immortals to complete this mission i have to meet the following requirements i have to i have to deploy an, an immortal that has at least the elite rarity or higher um it ha there has to be at least one shadow element immortal there has to be at least one support position immortal Immortal, there has to be at least one earth element immortal and there has to be at least one wind element immortal so as you can see here the immortals here that i have the little green um uh, scroll with the little uh crown here those are immortals that I actually already have sent out as in some of the other missions here so if you send an immortal out for a mission you can't send that same immortal out for another one which means you have to plan strategically to maximize the number of uh of a missions that you can go on at one time because they can all happen you can see i'm doing one, two, three, four, five missions all at the exact same time. So ideally what you want to do is send out enough troops to do six missions at a time, right? And you do get a free refresh. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the reason I'm going to refresh is because I actually can't meet these conditions. And the reason is because I only have one shadow element immortal. I only have one in the form of Med B who is on another mission. So I literally can, I can, I can do all the other conditions here, right? I have, I have uh, an immortal that is at least elite. I have a wind here because Mulan covers both of those bases. Um, I do have a support earth in the form of uh, where is it? Zenobia here. It's going to cover those two bases, but the third one, I, I just don't have another shadow. Okay. So you can refresh here. I think it's once every hour you can refresh. And here we see again, um, I need at least an elite and a bowman super easy this one super super easy at least one and where's a bowman we need a bowman let's go with a bougie and boom you start it up four hours from now they come back now the rewards here are really interesting okay you do get some resources and some speed ups that's great what you're really looking for are the multicolor paintbrushes and the frig souvenir coins okay now if you look on the top here each of these missions has a respective star level as you complete these missions this one i'm going to get five stars and if you get 50 100 
150, 200, 300, these are milestones that are going to give you more of those rewards. So if you complete 50 stars worth of missions, you're going to get six brushes, 20 coins, a hundred stars worth, and it goes on. So it looks like these actually, um, are, it's a linear thing that you're not going to get more brushes, the more you complete. Uh, in fact, it's actually not linear because the jump from 200 to 300 is a much larger jump than the rest. But anyway, you get the point. You want to be doing the highest level stars that you can do simultaneously at a time. And you have uh, about six days uh, to finish this, to get the most amount of rewards. We're going to talk about what you do with those brushes and coins later, but just keep in mind that those are some of the event currency for this Easter event. Okay. The next portion here is called colorful party. And this is where the paint brushes come into play. Every paintbrush that you accumulate, you can actually donate in the colorful party portion of the event. And as you complete each level, it's going to give you a certain tier of reward. So right now I'm on tier zero because I have no paintbrushes to donate. Once I donate a single paintbrush, it'll bring me up to tier one and I will unlock this small AP recovery potion. I have the opportunity of also unlocking a medium AP recovery potion and a major SP recovery potion. Did I say AP for these SP SP points? Okay. SP points. Now the way that you unlock the second row here is by spending 3,500 gems. Okay. You get some really good rewards for spending 3,500 gems. And in fact, you actually get 2000 of your gems back in the event that you complete all of these tiers, right? So let's just ignore these two tiers for a moment. We'll just look at the yellow column. If you go through this event completely free to play, you don't spend any gems or money or anything like that. If you go all the way through, what you're going to get is everything in the yellow column. So if you complete this event with enough paintbrushes, you're going to get 15 coins, 250 gems. You're going to get some soul crystals, all this stuff, more, more coins. Keep that. We're going to tell you what those coins are for in a second. Okay. You're going to get some resources, some experience, some more gems. You're going to get some keys for your dragon chest. So all this stuff is good because you get all these rewards for free as a free to play player. Just participate in this event and you're going to get all these rewards for free. Okay. Just make sure you finish level 20 in the next five days, 20 hours, or however long is left when you watch this video. Now, if you spend the five, 3,500 gems, it unlocks this green column. And then you immediately have access to all of these premium rewards. It actually looks like it almost doubles everything here. If it's, if it's a regular, um, currency, it doubles it. If it's, if it's premium currency, like gems, it looks like it triples it. It a little bit, a little bit more than triples it actually, especially in this column here. Um, but you get double the soul crystals and stuff like that. Now guys, I'm realizing soul crystals are actually a really good currency. It's really hard to get these, um, to get a lot of them at least. Um, and you're going to need these for the market, but you're also going to need them to level up your skills in the, in the tower. So yeah, this is a really important, uh, currency right here. Do not waste your crystals on, on immortals. You're not going to use cause you're going to need it later. Okay. So that's how you unlock the green tier. And if you're a free to play player and you have some gems laying around, this may actually be a decent value, right? Um, you can actually complete, if you can complete it, you get 2000 gems back. So really you're spending 1500 gems for basically double the rewards or more, which, you know, you can decide for yourself if that's worth it. It may in fact be the case. The final tier is a straight up bundle. Okay. This is a $15 bundle. You get some incredible rewards. And in fact, you actually get 3000 gems. If you complete this event, you get 3000 gems. And so you might be thinking Omniarch is is 3000 gems worth $15. Well, we can come right into the shop and we can find out. Okay. We go to the special bundles. You see the holiday revel revelry holiday revelry, uh, gives you it's a $5 bundle. It gives you 500 gems. This is a $10 bundle. This gives you 1100 gems. So for $15 here, you're getting 1600 gems. So you get basically double the value out of this event. If you can complete the event and you spend the $15 on the bundle, you get a ton of great rewards and a ton of gems. So if you can finish this and you are a low spender, this is definitely a bundle that I would recommend purchasing again, if you can complete it, if you can't complete it, you're not going to get all the rewards, right? And you want to at least get to this 1500 gem drop, right? I don't know. These, these coins are probably worth it, but you know, certainly the gems, right? You at least want to make it to level 19. Okay. Now with that out of the way, hopefully I explained that clear enough. Let's talk about fertile harvest. Okay. So fertile 
turtle harvest is actually how you're going to get chests, which is where you get those frig souvenir coins. Okay. That's what these are. These are called frig souvenir coins. Okay. So you get some for logging in, but you can also get them by doing things that you're normally going to be doing out in the open field in the game. You can gather resources, collect resources in your city, kill gnomes and defeat bosses, and they will drop these chests. You're going to see it come up in your mail. It's going to come as a system reward. It's going to show up here. Okay. The strategic chests and the Marvel chests actually look the same in the little icon here. So keep that in mind. They are different items, um, but they have the same picture for right now. So these, I got all these just from killing the gnomes with my, uh, with my just regenerated AP over time. So you're going to get a ton of those and we're actually going to go ahead and open them up right here in the video. So you guys get an idea of what you're going to get. Okay. So we have seven strategic chests and it says right here, when you open it, you can either get between six and 15 King Arthur souvenir coins and some resources. Okay. So let's open this up. We have 65, uh, King Arthur souvenir coins which we'll talk about what you use that for. And then we're going to go ahead and open the five Marvel chests and I got 12 Frigga coins and some resources. Okay. So the other one, uh, this, the, the souvenir chest, I think was the first one that I did. That one is, a, it seems to be a little bit better. Okay. But you're going to get both just from doing normal things that you do out into the game. Let's see if I can get any from collecting these resources right here in the city. Are we going to get any? No, none for the video. Okay. Now the next section is actually where you use those coins we've been talking about. Okay. Those frig souvenir coins, the ones that you're going to get from killing gnomes, farming, all that good stuff. This is where you can redeem them. And remember you get these for participating in this event as well. Okay. You get some free ones. You get some extra ones if you buy the bundle. Okay. So this may be an incentive for you. 80 of those coins. We take a look here. 80 of those coins is going to get you uh, a decent amount of crystals. You can also, um, for 60 coins, you can get 50 shards of a particular elite immortal optional chest. Okay. So there's some really good stuff in here. Obviously the best thing that you want though, here is 180 coins. It's miracle of the goddess. This is a chest that will give you a random epic immortal. Okay. So you get enough um, soul fragments of that immortal to summon them. So if you already have them, that's 60 fragments. That's actually really good. That's a, that's a, a decent amount of, uh, progress towards your next skill. So you can only get two of these. Okay. So you need 360 coins to get two of the max reward. Then of course, there's some other things that are really valuable here. Of course, the dragon soul crystals are very valuable. Again, the philosopher stones, incredibly valuable here. You can get some speed ups. If you want, you can actually get this 50 soul crystal for Moctezuma, Edward, or William. This is a seven day version of the city theme, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. We're going to show you the bundle. I'm probably actually just going to purchase that bundle just for the content, just so you guys can see what that Easter bundle is has inside. But then you guys can decide if you want to buy it yourself. So again, as you're collecting the coins from the daily events, as you're collecting them, do you get them from here as well? Yes. You get them from here as well. From doing these missions, you also get them from doing all the stuff you're normally going to do. You trade those coins in for really good goodies. Okay. This is all free. Uh, you obviously you get more coins if you buy the bundles and stuff like that, but you can get a ton of coins just for free. Okay. Now, finally the vibrant original festival, this is the bundle. Okay. So let's take a look at the bundle here. You're going to get 520 gems for $5. So let's compare that to the special bundles. That's a little bit more than the other $5 bundles, right? Uh, this $5. Oh no. Some of these actually give you 520. Whereas this one looks like it just gives you five. What's the freely campaign. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fights more freely. Yeah. I've seen this before. That's actually a lot of soul crystals. Wait a minute. Wow. Wow. Okay. Enticing. So you get an average amount of gems. This is the same amount of gems that you get for pretty much any other $5 bundle. You get 500 VIP, you get some of the resources, right? So it looks like you get 500,000 of each resource and you go ahead and you can get the colorful April avatar frame. So we're going to go ahead and buy this. We're going to see what's in here. And then we're going to see what's on the tier behind that, because it looks like there's only three levels of this bundle, right? So let's see what's after the $5 bundle. Okay. So the $5 purchase is completed. Now it looks like there is a uh, chat message box frame really interesting stuff there nothing else too crazy in this bundle so it's ten dollars you're getting 1100 gems which we've already talked about is is standard right we've shown the ten dollar bundle in this video already and it looks like you get actually a lot of resources and resources are really a struggle in this game as you're progressing farther. So let's compare this to another bundle. So you get 15 of the four primary resources. Let's compare it to this $10, $10 bundle, which gives you 15 of all of them as well, plus some gold. 
interesting. So this actually is a better deal if you don't care about that frame, which is probably a limited time only. Now it's my understanding that because this is a lifetime purchase limit of one, that this is actually a better value than pretty much any other bundle. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have access to any other $10 bundles here, and I don't really feel like spending $5 on a bundle I don't care about. Um, so I, you know what I will say? It's a little bit unfortunate we don't see gold here. Uh, it's also, oh, we do get some speed ups. We get 10 hours of speed ups. Let's compare that to this Head Start bundle. Yeah, you get way more than the Head Start bundle, my God. Um, so really, this is, uh, if you want this cosmetic, that's what this bundle is for. If you care about the cosmetics, this is what it's all about. Now, there is a reason to buy up to the top value tier, and I'm going to show you why. But first, we have to buy this bundle. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, the gems are in. Now is the final bundle, and this is a hundred dollars. This is a one hundred dollar bundle. That's heartbreaking for me. I was hoping this was going to be like a $20 bundle. Okay. That's what I was hoping uh, because what you're getting here is a permanent city skin. The permanent city skin is actually really, really powerful. Uh, we did get a couple of cosmetics here. Let's go over to the city decoration. Okay. And I'm going to show you what you get. Okay. There's a lot of city skins. This is the one that you get with the bundle. It's called wonderful world and your healing speed is increased by 3%. Now that doesn't sound like a lot because it's not right. But imagine this, imagine you're playing the game next year. You're a T5 player, you're waging war, you're constantly filling your hospitals and you have to speed them down with speed ups you're immediately, you're going to be using less speed ups than any other player because of this bundle that you buy now. Okay. So this is, and I don't know if maybe next year they're going to release this bundle with the city skin. Like you may have an opportunity to get this again, but this is a, an Easter themed bundle. So if you don't get it now, you'll probably have to wait till next year to get it. Okay. I personally think that healing speed is very valuable. And again, this is, this is a long-term investment for your account. Okay. Because you're saving 3% for the rest of the time that you heal for the rest of the game. Okay. Just when you go to heal, you switch to the city skin, you save speed ups and you're good. Okay. It takes less time. That being said, a hundred dollars is a lot to spend for a, for a city skin, right? Is 3% worth a hundred dollars plus the 15 you have to get to spend just to get here. Right? So the $115, Yes, you're getting the gems, which is good, right? If you're a big spender, this is definitely a bundle that you probably want to buy, right? You know, you may not see the value here in the resources or in the speed ups or anything, but the VIP is valuable. The gems are valuable and this city skin is permanent and it's pretty much irreplaceable, right? Like there's nothing else in the game like that. Okay. So everyone will know that you are a complete badass because you have this adorable city on the battlefield. Uh, and they're going to know that you're going to speed up troops. You're healing just a little bit faster than everybody else. So it's up to you guys. If this hundred dollar bundle is worth it. I personally am going to pass on this bundle. Uh, I think a hundred dollars again, it's a lot to spend. If I'm going to spend a hundred bucks right now, I'm going to be unlocking Genghis Khan, right? That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at immortals. I'm looking at dragons. I'm looking at speed ups and I'm looking at value, right? Is this the best hundred dollar value for me? I don't think so. Now we've got a couple more things to talk about here. This has been a long video. This is a big event. Okay. This is a big event. Um, if that bundle included either some of the Frigg souvenir coins, or if it did include some of the, uh, the King Arthur coins for the redeem event, then it may be a different story, right? It may be a little bit more enticing to spend on that bundle. But unfortunately, unfortunately they didn't put any coins in the $5, $10 or hundred dollar bundle, which is confusing to me because it's an event that includes coins. You would think that you would want to give those coins to the players. But anyway, remember the strategic chests that you're going to be getting from killing the gnomes out in the open field. When you open those strategic chests, they give you some number of these King Arthur souvenir coins. Okay. And you can actually use those coins to get yourself soul crystals of King Arthur, who is an, an epic immortal in this game. Absolutely for free. You're going to be killing those gnomes anyway. If you're playing the game and you're active and all that stuff, you're going to get them absolutely for free. So you can get up to 10 uh, soul crystals for King Arthur, absolutely free. It's a hundred coins per soul crystal. Um, you also can get yourself uh, Robin hood if you want to do that. Now, 300 crystals for a stone philosopher stone. I don't know. That doesn't, doesn't seem like good value to me. Uh, it just depends on how abundant these are. If you have a ton of these and there's some left over, then yeah, sure. Get the philosopher stones. Now you do have the ability uh, to also redeem uh, some combination of coins and gems 
to get these uh, as well. So like right now, I don't have enough coins to get a soul crystal of, uh, of Arthur, but I do have half the amount and I can supplement the other half with gems. So this is a way that you can get up to 20 um, soul crystals of King Arthur. If you are active enough to do these, you can get 30. So that's halfway to summoning him, which, you know, it's not much, but again, this portion of the event is actually free to play. So you're getting this stuff for free just by participating in this Easter event. Really good stuff here, guys. Make sure uh, that you're active for the next couple of days. You're playing the game really as, as much as you can, uh, because this is a great time to be active. This is a great time to, to get as many rewards as you possibly can. Also, if you're like me and this little red dot is going to drive you insane, you can go in here and you can actually click the reminder tick box and check that off. And now you're good. So guys, make sure you go through, you use your action points, you kill those gnomes, send out your gatherers and just have fun here in infinity kingdom. With that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful or informative or entertaining or anything like that, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it. It really does have helped the channel a ton. Subscribe to the channel. If you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload an infinity kingdom video, as always, my social media links are in the description below. So make sure you follow me over there on Instagram, Twitter, discord, uh, Facebook, everything is always down below. And again, there is a link to download infinity kingdom down there you can either get it for blue stacks for free if you're a pc or you can download it for mobile or ios all of the two links they're both down there finally comment down below if you have any questions about infinity kingdom or about the easter event in particular i'll be down there trying to answer uh, trying to answer everybody that i can and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace